Oh my, why? What the fuck is this? Oh my lord. What to do, what to do, what to do, YouTube, your boy DT, I know his name is Demon Time, back when I'm working goddamn Real Slayer video, yes, we gonna play a little bit of the trials, but I also wanna talk about the DLC, um, as it is entirely. Now, have I made it through majority of the DLC and I have to play a lot of that shits in the end game? Not really, but for what I played so far, I do enjoy the DLC, and I just want to talk about is it worth buying? All right, so is it worth buying? Yeah, I think it's very worth buying. It's very worth the money that um it was like what thirty dollars um, USD, right? Um, now I haven't got all the way into the shits, and as a solo player, this is a shit ton of content for me personally, myself. You know what I mean? Like for me, just to grind them by myself and actually do all the tiers and all the leveling up and grinding for all the new legendaries, it's a shit ton of shit to do for solo in co-op. So it's like, don't let nobody say like, oh, this. Nah, I don't know how. Who, I haven't watched any videos. I uh, people be like, oh, is it worth buying or is it worth putting money into? I haven't watched any videos, but. Personally, my my opinion, myself, you know what I mean. This DLC is worth the money. You know, outriders, uh, the the people, the, the company, you know, or the the devs who made the game, right, knew what they was doing. Unlike certain people who make certain games who develop like triple A titles and shit like that, right? They listened to the feedback of the community of outriders and learned from when they first released. For, to New Horizon, because New Horizon added a whole bunch of shit that made the game worth hopping back on at that time, which I did. And this update, Road Slayer, right? This upgrade or update to the game was well needed. They added a shit ton more tiers. They added a lot more shit to do as like the trial shits, right? They also added, uh, uh, I don't know if they added any more expeditions, but they added a whole bunch of new armor sets and shit I heard. Uh, so people were doing like armor set, new armor set builds and all kinds of shit. And it's like, it's worth the money. You feel me? So it's like, I can't really sit here and complain about there's nothing to do in this game because there's a shit ton of shit to do again. Like, look at this, look at this legendary I have on my back. This is just a regular, um, regular epic epic weapon with purple weapon right with the skin the skins on this game was a lot better the game looks visually good i play on a series x i play on an xbox series x so my the, the, the it's gonna look a lot more better than it usually would because it's a hand stone uh on the, on the series x right so it's like the game looks good you feel me the game feels good it plays good i don't know how bad the power creep is but in my opinion, it's worth playing. You feel me? The, the shit they give you, they give you a lot more shit to do. They added like a badass rank, like how Borderlands have. So now, when you rank up your ascension points, you can put those points into other aspects. As I'm like, let me see. I'm not gonna sort of just go over. Oh, Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Up oh, there it is. So like this shit right here, they added some extra shit so you can get up to 200 points in ascension points. Right, you basically can put those points where you want them at, kind of like how badass rank is. Then you have packs points so where you can build more into your character. Then you got your, you know your traditional, but it's like they gave you more of a in the game. They give you more of a option to change the kind of way you want your character to be. They give you more. They give you more versatility. You feel me? And that's. You know, that's all you really can ask for in a game that's built like this. You know what I mean? More content, more guns, more armor, more legendaries, more shit to do. So, in my opinion, it's worth buying. All right? I'll be honest with you. I mean, I'm not really, you know, I'm not biased or nothing. I just think that this game took a right, the right step in direction. You feel me? Um, and they do it. They know what they're doing. So to keep the game alive. So you know, I know Outriders has a small community of people who actually does pay attention to the game, but. Yeah, this game is uh, well worth the bread. I'm definitely gonna be playing this game from here on out. And plus, I got a shit ton more characters to play, so we're gonna you know, we're gonna do that. So I want to walk up on this dude right here. I just want to play a little bit of the game, just to give you my little perspective on how I feel about the DLC. What the fuck is this? This is probably gonna be a dude I'm gonna have to fight, huh? Ooh, oh, what the fuck, Arbiter? Now I don't know how hard this fight is, boy. This motherfucker gonna be hard as shit. Man, it look kind of fire. Oh, what the fuck? 
Now I did play up through a little bit of this. I'm not gonna. I was gonna show that. I was gonna. Damn, motherfucker hit hard. Oh. Yeah. Right Let's do my not. Oh, he dropped down. Get your big ass up. I'm missing all types of bullets. I actually might switch to my 50 after this. Okay, so he does shoot. He has like a little shadow shits. No, does this infect him? Hell to the fuck no. I don't think I'm getting hit by that. Uh, he ain't as bad as the end boss. Granted, I'm not at the highest level. What the? Oh, no, he's one of regular dudes now. What are they doing to him? Are they giving him, like, they healing him up or something? Oh, shit. I'm trying to... I think they is. Oh, come on, man. You're dead. I don't know what the fuck them little enemies was doing. I was. I'm not gonna say this much about this game. Like, now I'm not the highest tier you can be. And I don't know what he drops towards, like, he might have some cool-ass sets of armor or some shit he dropped. Okay, so when he does that little thing, he, he drops down. I might do a double turret build, man. I've been seeing that shit look kind of fire. That's what I use to beat the end boss, because I swear I couldn't beat that motherfucker. Oh, you guys are slow. Oh, I'm really slow, though. I don't like that. Here, bro. Not like this. Let me get my hills up. Ah, oh, hills up, hills up, hills up. Good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. No! Wow, dude, this game is some bullshit, bro. I would have actually survived that, man. That motherfucker slowed the shit out of me, man. Wow. One attempt left, huh? But I didn't really come here to actually try to fight the dude, but uh, he's beatable. Um, I'm definitely going to come back to that. Um, I just don't want to verse him right now. Let's go here. Uh, God, what? Well, that happened. I almost beat him, though. And by the way, this is all solo. You feel me? All this rank and all this shit I did up until this point is all solo. Just grinded the game out. I'm gonna do this for all my characters. I think it's fu it's fun doing. Sh is it, is it, am I crazy for thinking it's fun playing like this? I, I have a blast playing games. If you can do anything solo, I play a ESO like this. I play. Um, well, you can't really play Destiny solo, but you can play some content by yourself. Um, like leveling up your character and shit, you can do by yourself. Like when it comes to like dungeons, raids, and shit like that, you need friends, which I do have that for. Um, you know, games that's my, you can play solo if you want to. Like a lot of a lot, a lot a lot of MMO games do that. Like a lot of games you can play it solo by yourself. But if you gotta play in a raid or you gotta do some type of dungeon or some shit, you might need some help doing that shit. Depending on how strong you build your character. But yeah, this is one of the games you can do a lot of shit solo. Well, I'm definitely not interested. I mean, the trial system is cool. I'm just mad I'm only on my last thing. So if I die, so if I die one more time, right, do I have to restart this shit all the way from the beginning? Probably do. I think that's exactly what that means. Granted, this shit wasn't hard getting to this point any goddamn way. So I didn't have a problem 
playing it like that. I might end up switching up my build. I might try a different couple stat builds, man. I just like they let you re they reset your they, they let you reset your stats as many times as you want. So if you want to do like a the only part that you really want to have a, you will have a problem doing is uh grinding the armor, like the anomaly armor and shit like that. That'll be like the only problem because I delete every fucking thing. I really don't keep nothing, which I don't have any other other sets of armor to like put switch on like any other gear armor. On. But this build is still pretty strong. I mean, when it comes to bossing, man, that's the only the only problem I have. I wouldn't say survivability is a problem either. It's just that that motherfucker does a shit ton of damage. Like I want to bring this build. Like I want to bring this build I currently have right now all the way to like tier fifty. What fuckers they have tiers they got? Cause this tier is actually. I mean this. This this build is actually really fucking good. It's the typical battle, uh, typical um, weapon power build. It's like the one of the strongest things you can do on this character. Has given me any problems yet? I kind of went through the whole entire game like this. Yeah, man. Having a blast, though. Like I always say in every video, man. I'm having a blast playing this game. You see what I'm doing right here. Nuking enemies down. Man, somebody is beating outside, bro. That is ridiculous, bro. God, boy. There'd be a lot of goddamn... be a lot of goddamn elites, man. I know I'm about to start putting my points into. Oh yeah, let me get the fuck out of here before they fucking start gaining up on me. Sometimes you gotta run back a little bit, Mike. Then they step out that corner so I can shoot there. Kind of might go down. I actually might try that down tree. Um, on uh, the pax points. Right now I'm doing a top one. The top one really ain't all that. What is the extra five percent of damage when I can get more weapon damage? These dudes really be rushing your shit, bro. Like back off me. I do. Like I said, I still want to bring a fifty into my build. All these headshots in his ass. They ain't trying to die, bro. Thank you. Uh, I mean, my cooldowns come back quick. That was my problem. I always wanted my cooldowns up. Now they give you more ways to get your cooldowns up. What the fuck? One thing that makes this 50 good is the goddamn Claymore is, man. The, the, the ultimate Claymore, what the fuck are we gonna call it? That motherfucker actually stands out now. These motherfuckers hit hard as fuck, boy. I thought I had all types of health. Apparently not, bro. But apparently I'm still tanky. But apparently I need to put more points into endurance. So once I put more points into endurance, I should be a little bit more tanky. I wanted to head from grinding this game up. There you go, there's my one pack's point. I'm pretty sure it's the way. I'm pretty sure people already done found glitches to get a shit ton of XP. I'm not one of those type of dudes who do shit like that. Like, it's not worth doing that shit. Let's see, what do we have here in endurance? Uh, health points, uh, armor increase, uh, healing bonus, uh, elite to damage negation, negation, uh, resistance to uh, next resistance bonus. Okay, so yeah, I kind of figured. I'm definitely going to put a lot of points here. A lot of points to, uh, in, um, Brutality. Um, I put a lot of points into power though. I don't know if you that. Powers. Uh, next critical shot. I definitely want to put a lot of points into that. But I'm going to put all 50 into that, to be honest with you. This character's not going to have no points in. Um, there's not going to be not no points into. Uh, uh, anomaly. There's no point if I build this. If I build, build this character this way all this time. Now, 
other characters like uh like uh Pyromancer and shit that's based off an anomaly. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a lot of those. Definitely gonna make a power master. And I think I wanna start upgrading my power master next. Like I would do one prior before. I just I don't know why I got rid of it. Like what the fuck is that, bro? Like who who, who made that? Like, this is this is a boss. No. Come on, man. Why am I always getting jumped all the goddamn time? Uh, is this gonna kill me, bro? Is this gonna be it, bro? Ow! Off me! Ah, oh, damn! I hate these fucking big ass, ugly motherfuckers. Things fly around all fucking day. He doesn't even stay stunned long. I mean, fifty percent damage. I mean, I think I might have to go down that tree. I might have to end up trying that tree out. I think I'd rather use that one than I do this one. Adding the random status effect don't really do nothing to my character at all. It don't really. It's not really wanted. I went up that tree for really no reason for it when I can use get a hundred percent more weapon damage. Even though my life leech isn't high, but. I mean, 50% more damage is better than just not having, not having none at all. I'm gonna give you a nice big area to ring around a rosy, though, I can tell you that if I don't get stuck. <sighs> Come on, man. Two of them? Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me, uh. One more hit and I'm dead. Why oh, there's so many of you? Oh my god. Oh no. I think you put a cold snap grenade, bro. Oh, for like this. Get out the way, period. It's crazy. You're not dead, dude. You literally one shot, dude. Where am I going? Dude, how the fuck are these niggas able to just dodge through your shit like that, man? I hate some of these enemy types, bro, in this game. Ah, damn. Some of the enemy types be on that bullshit. Oh, can you die, bro? Ah, damn. How, how? You have, like, no health, dude. No fucking health. You have no health. I'm stuck on the wall. I'm a bad. This is this, this shit looking. I'm about to die here, dude. I'm gonna die here. God. Oh my! Why? What the fuck is this? Oh my lord! Man. What I did was I switched a lot of my points down to the bottom tree of the pax points, and um, it helped me out tremendously. Being able to catch a lot of the health. Uh, and, Get my health back up quick. Help me a lot. I was going to end the video, as you can see in my last little uh, part before I stop my recording. Um, before I was about to do my outro. Um, yeah, I, um, I actually got past that part. So we're about to go check and see what's going on right here. Nigga, I don't get not one legendary.
Man, I don't see one legendary out of this, bro. Oh, it's a legendary. What is it, though? Is it the gun? Is it armor? It's a helmet. I don't know what the helmet does. Let's check and see. Oh, reliable. Increases your range at which enemies consider to be close range by two meters. This sounds good for a trickster. Dumb dumb bullets. Um, I guess. I mean, I'm not gonna. I mean. This sounds more of a trickster. I don't know why they gave me this on this character. It don't seem like it's specifically for this character. Can I? I wonder, bro. I mean, it has has it's Mr. Fix It on oh, the, the bottom trait, but I want to just put this in the vault, switch to my trickster, and delete the armor, and get that. Did get that perk on my uh, trickster build? Uh, you know what? I want to hold it in my inventory for right now. But um, yeah, now I'm about to officially end off my video. Like I said, the DLC is actually really good. This part right here was actually kind of stressful. Um, I only did it twice. I didn't die no more to have passed that. After I switched my points up, I actually you no know, did it. I failed it. Came back, passed it. But um, the next thing I'm going to do is actually go fight the Arbiter. And um, I might start live streaming this game. I'm probably going to end up start live streaming because, you know, I've been wanting to just live stream and just do some content like that just to get, get, um, just to get my YouTube algorithm a little bit better and analytics and try to just be more consistent with this, uh, with this game. But, hey, now I'm officially about to end off my You're not going to notice that I made I might take this as my second outro, but I'm going to delete the outro, cut that out, put this one in. But, hey, this DLC is worth it. Buy it. Pay the money to get this DLC. Actually, actually, it's actually pretty fun. It's actually pretty challenging when you're a solo player. But hey, it's me, your boy DT. I also know this Demon's Hive. You feel me? Give me your boy a like, subscribe. Do what you gotta do. Come up with you guys are the realest. I'm the realest, and I'm out this motherfucker. Yay. Yeah.